Cowboys in Space. Cowboys in Space. I don't know why that sounds so familiar to me. Maybe because of the Akvesto Prime, a legitimately spacey, futuristic pair of cowboy six shooters. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna be diving deeper into this secondary weapon. As per the usual, I'm gonna have a cheap build, something affordable that most Tenno will be able to build, but of course, we also got the quote unquote end game setup with Prime mods, a ribbon that works. That said though, please bear in mind that my builds and guides usually take a new player friendly approach. I'm gonna be taking my time and explaining whatever I feel is necessary for newer Tenno. So, in case you're a vet and you already know most of this stuff, please. Bear with me. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the Akvasto Prime. Let's begin by checking out how the weapon handles without any mods equipped. And for that, just a couple of free shots. The Akvasto Primes are a pair of semi-automatic secondary weapons with a hit scan attack, and they kinda look as cowboy guns, old school Wild West pistols. Six shooters to be exact, which is why you get a magazine of 12. And like good old fashioned cowboy guns, they kick like a bloody mule. Take a look at the recoil. Climbing recoil, but the good part is that it does stabilize at full fire rate. Have a look. Most of the bullets will be landing roughly in the same area. And if you're gonna go shot by shot action like boom, headshot, boom, headshot, you're not really gonna have any issue with the recoil. When it comes to usability, perhaps the biggest issue, which might turn a whole lot of players off, is the fact that this is a semi-automatic weapon. So you gotta super click your gun or your controller depending on the case. But let's have a closer look at stats to see exactly what we're dealing with. Mod capacity 60 out of 60, and if your comes with only 30 out of 30, jump into actions and plug in the Auto King Catalyst, double your mod capacity. You can get one from Nightwave, you can pay 20 plat to have one installed, you can get a blueprint from the Daily Sortie, or some events in Warframe also feature a Auto King Catalyst as a possible or guaranteed reward. I guess the better question would be, is the Ag Vasto Prime worth building in 2021? You gotta invest the Catalyst, you gotta invest a couple of Forma as well. And it really depends on which side of the argument you're on. If you're the kind of player that simply wants power, braske, more power, so I can triple kill with a single shot all my targets, then this is not the gun for you. It's simply not all that powerful right now in Warframe. But if you're looking for something with a bit of pizzazz, a bit of style, something to match to your Mesa Prime, perhaps that old uh, Wild West style, then definitely look into the Ak Vasto Prime. How many Forma though? Well, I got six in mind, but that's overkill. I simply over Forma simply because I have a whole bunch of mod combinations which I want to test. For the weapon build I'm recommending you guys, you can get away with something like three to four depending on what kind of mods you have at your disposal. Accuracy is gonna be 16. If you go with Magnum Force, which I don't, su don't suggest you do, you're gonna drop that accuracy to 8.5. This weapon doesn't have a whole lot of anything. To be perfectly honest, if you lose the accuracy, then what's the point? I mean, oh jeez, look, look at all the bullets everywhere. It's not worth it. Besides, there are plenty of other mods that can go on this weapon, so it's not really worth going for Magnum Force in the case of the Ag Vasto Prime. Let's talk about critical stats. 22% base with a 2.4x critical multiplier above average, definitely, and the critical multiplier is quite nice. Especially considering the base damage total is 66, which for a secondary weapon is pretty nice. Fire rate of 6.33 with a magazine of 20 no noise alarming and a quick reload at 1.4 seconds and a Riven Dispo of 4 out of 5. Even though this is a prime weapon, it's simply not all that popular and with good reason. Now, the plus side, you get powerful Rivens and Agvastor Rivens, nobody cares about Agvastor Rivens, right? So you can get them on the cheap and head on over to Kuva and try your luck with RNGesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Status chance 22%, which is again decent. When it comes to the damage, you got the full array of IPS impact puncher slash, sadly. But the good part is that you got the highest amount being slash. And you're gonna say, do 22% status chance with the highest amount. That's not bad, is it? It's not bad. But considering how many bullets you put into your target and how fast, the status chance should have been at least 30 to 35%. Now, before we have a look at a build, uh, do unlock the weapon Excellent slot only if the recoil bothers you. If the recoil bothers you, simply 
go with steady hands. Keep in mind that this slot by default comes with a V symbol, right? And I changed it to a dash. Now let's have a look at a standard build. Damage with Hornet Strike, multi shot with Barrel Diffusion, as well as Lethal Torrent, critical chance, critical damage between Pistol, Gambit, and Target Cracker. Do you remember what I said that the number of four mods will depend on what kind of mods you have for the weapon? Initially, we're gonna go with normal mods because not everybody has prime mods, and then we're gonna make a quick switch to prime mods just so you can understand exactly what kind of power increase you're looking at if you're going for prime mods. From Battleketeer, Von Boy Trader. 26060 viral mods. Oh, the huge surprise, Lazar. The huge surprise. I know. Frostbite and Pistol Pestilence. Right now, this is the meta in Warframe. You can uh, get Pistol Pestilence from Corrupted Vor in the Void or 10 Plat from the trade chats. 10 to 15, depending on what trade chat. On PC, I believe it's about 10, but I think on console, it might be slightly more expensive. Frostbite, you can get it from doing spy missions, and this one it really is 10 Plat. In the weapon excellent slot, steady hands, and the last slot on the weapon is what I like to call our option slot. Now into this one, you can plug whatever you want. I'll give you a couple of options, but let's start off with Carnage Stinger, plus slash plus status. Done. Done. This is a slasher. We get more status and we put slash as proc priority numero uno with this one. Because if you don't, then you're gonna have viral as proc priority number one, which is not ideal in this case. You don't need a thousand viral. Okay, two will be good enough, one will be good enough, actually, so bear that one in my MAME, 100% no. Basically, for secondary weapons, ever since Carnage Stinger came out, MAME has been obsolete, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Hemorrhage? No, we don't have impact, what are you talking about? Other options, if you don't have Carnage Stinger, which is easily farmed from Deimos, then there are a couple of additional options. Here's one, flat damage, you can never... Oh, good. Agar Pact. You can never go wrong with a bit, little bit of extra damage, okay? Basically, this doesn't mess with the proc priority, with anything. It just adds some more damage. The problem with Agar Pact, it's only 90%. It's a copper mod, copper colored mod, for a reason. But perhaps you are the kind of individual which likes more crit, mama. I like to crit it, crit it. Hydraulic crosshairs to crit it. 135% uh, chance, but this is on headshot and only while aiming. I'll show you two tests. All right, one with hydraulic crosshairs, and of course the other one with Carnage Stinger. Punch through, always a good idea if you enjoy that kind of thing. I wouldn't go with sharpened bullets until I get more critical chance, though. So wear that one in mind. Quick test, quick test. No Sentinel, please, no. Oh, okay, let's just go like this with an empty build on my Loki. We're gonna be spawning in Corrupted Heavy Guns level 120. I wanted to showcase these cowboy guns with the cow girl herself, Mesa, but uh, that would buff. You know, the biggest of Mesa's passive, so there you go. Okay, headshot, we're gonna go shot by shot, and then we're gonna let loose. One, two, three, mommy, four, five, six. I think that's enough. So what, how, what is that? Four slashes and eight vital procs, more than enough to annihilate the corrupted heavy gun. This is the kind of performance you can expect from a build such as this. It really depends on you if this is enough or not. In all actuality, I'm fully aware that right now in Warframe, this is simply not all that powerful, because, you know, it's not. If I compare it to the power level of melee, it's not even funny, but thankfully the developer is aware that right now, ranged weapons in Warframe are in a bad spot and they do intend to do something about it. What is that something or when exactly, I'm not sure, but they did say after uh, Call of the Tempestari. And you know, Call of the Tempestari is done, so come on, let's get to it, pretty please. There you go, a full magazine on that guy, 10 viral procs, 3 impact, puncture, no, puncture procs, and 6 slashes. Not bad, not bad. Is it better to go with Karnas Stinger, however? Well, you know what, you can run the math if you really want to, it's better with Karnas Stinger from if you really want the slash build. Uh, I feel it's more fun with hydraulic crossers, but as you know, my friends, fun is subjective and entirely up to you. So bear that one in mind. Quick test with this one, then we're gonna switch to Prime Mods, like I promised, and then we're gonna hit it with a Revan. Look at that, 11 slashes and 6 virals. Saw that? A lot more slash than... Look, beautiful, absolutely freaking fantastic. And this would be shot by shot again. Well, the test for any slash build, hit your target till about 50% and see if the bleeds actually annihilate it or not. If they do consistently, not once in every blue moon, then the build is somewhat viable. 
that's pretty much it. Let's go with Prime mods now. If there ever comes a choice from Battle Kid here, listen, you're a new player, you don't have all the resources in the world, I'm fully aware, I remember how it used to be. I didn't have ducats coming out of my porthole, alright? So I had to go one by one, go with Prime Target Cracker instead of uh, Prime Pistol Gambit initially. You gotta have both, definitely, but if it comes a choice, Crack over Gambit every single time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 63% crit chance now with a 4.8x critical multiplier, I believe. One more time, the Corrupted Heavy Goons, level 120. Once again, I'm gonna go shot by shot, 8 slashes, 4 virals, absolutely annihilating the target. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes, the power increase is quite noticeable in gameplay. If you have prime mods, it makes this weapon handle a whole lot better. But, of course it does. I mean, they're prime mods. They're supposed to. Right? Right? There you go, my friends. That's the kind of performance you can expect. Now, let's talk Riven mods. What's the ideal Riven for this one? It really depends on, again, what kind of player you are. From a mathematical perspective, I would go multi-shot and some critical chance, critical damage, harmless, negative, all that good stuff. Status chance is not a bad idea, believe it or not, on a Riven, definitely. What I have for you today, my fantastic individuals, is the Akvasto Acriata. Thank you so much for loaning me this Riven. It's got damage, critical damage, and minus zoom, which is fantastic. It really needs some crit chance. To buff up that critical chance of 63%, let's take it to something like 90%, and then critical damage is actually gonna hurt a whole lot more. But of course, once again, this will make a noticeable impact on the weapon. It is 4 out of 5 at the end of the day, so it does carry some heft. 1, 2, 3, 4, there you go. There you go. Oh, ho, ho. 20,000 slash. GG, well played. See ya, never. And of course, the way I like to play with these things, let loose and absolutely annihilate whatever stands before you, my friends. And I know what you're gonna say, dude, the performance is good, but only with a riff, and it's not really fair. And I agree with you. No, it's not fair. It's not fair, especially considering that this is a prime weapon. It's a prime weapon. It's supposed to kick a whole lot of ours. And it doesn't. Except if you got the right mods, like I do in this specific a showcase, but again if you want to put the weapon over the top if you wanted to pack a serious punch You might want to consider a ribbon. They're not expensive because the weapon is not very popular There's no other variation that can come out I guess something that would be more powerful than the prime just head on over to Kuva and try your luck once again go for multi-shot Damage critical chance and a harmless negative. I don't know if this one can roll one as impact if it can roll minus impact, go for it. Also, if it can roll minus puncture, go for it. No minus slash. Not in this case, however. But again, minus impact over minus puncture. What kind of frame should showcase these beautiful, beautiful weapons? I showed you Harold last time. Let's go Lady Mirage. Oh, by the way, uh, Mirage is... Why do I have another Mirage? Oh, just the hat. Yeah, I just like to have Mirage. It's just like extra Mirage, just in case. From, uh, again, from a mathematical perspective, Mirage is more powerful than Harrow, but I'm gonna quickly show you guys both, alright, just to satisfy everybody, it's a secondary weapon, so no need for the Sentinel trick. As for Warframe buffs, corrosive projection against heavily armored targets, I like to stress out the fact that you're not forced to use this bloody mod. Use whatever fits your build for your Warframe, growing power, power donation, stealing my charge, Deadeye, what, <laughs> yeah, Deadeye if you're using snipers, what? So again, you're not forced into this one. Arcane Precision is a fantastic secondary arcane on headshot, 100% chance for free, 100% damage to pistols for 18 seconds. And of course, the ever so popular Avenger, bonus additive after 45% critical chance for 12 seconds, applying to your primary, secondary, and to your melee at the exact same time. Look at that stance. Look how she stands with the guns. I love it. I love it. This, by the way, if you don't know, it's the new Mirage Oneiro animations, which is basically kind of like that and the helmet, the only good things about the Oneiro. <laughs> Sorry. I just don't like it all that much. Bump up the level to 150. Can I go higher? No, mommy, you can't go higher. God damn it, mama. Unpause the eye so they can hit me and I can get. And we're gonna go like so. And power and Mirage's furtability, the ever so amazing eclipse for the largest damage increase. Once again, and power and her ever so lovely boom clones. They don't make animations like that in Warframe anymore, sadly. And of course, I'm gonna go shot by shot action. Look at that, absolutely annihilated that corrupted heavy goon. Do you love that? Like that. 
This is a weapon that when you're dealing with this amount of buffs, you want to go shot by shot action just so you don't waste any of the bullets. Not that it would matter, you can simply drop a pad, but the reason you would want to go shot by shot in a circumstance such as this one is simply because you don't want to reload, right? If you don't want to reload, even though the reload is at only 1.4 seconds unbuffed, then you can use Harrow, for example, to buff it to be even quicker than that. The thing is, if I let loose like this, I'm just gonna waste a whole lot of bullets. But it is definitely pretty, isn't it? Now you see them. Now, you don't. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, I promised you guys a quick run with Harrow as well. Harrow is amazing because he gives critical chance, but... Well, that's how he's perceived at least, but he's far more important than that. He's an extremely, extremely efficient buffer frame and I highly, highly recommend him. Uh, not if you want to receive praise for your uh, endeavors, however. Nobody's ever gonna thank you for saving their life. You know, they're not even gonna notice that exactly when they were on 1 HP life, you popped your 4 ability, which granted them an immunity, which let them get their health back up. That never happens. Not once have I ever seen a single thank you. But you don't play Harrow for the thank yous, you play Harrow for the edge. <laughs> and let's be honest, his edge is quite pronounced. His 4 ability confidant will grant us the critical chance. Keep in mind, at full buff, you get 50% on body shot, 200% on headshot. So there's room to get even more. His second ability, fire rate, as well as reload speed. Boom. See that? Not as powerful as Mirage. More col colorful than Mirage? Absolutely. But not as powerful as Lady Mirage. Fine. She just adds a whole, whole lot of damage. Now, my friends, it's time to draw some conclusions about the Ak Vasto Prime. Should you build it or not, that's entirely up to you. I simply present the weapons with their negatives and their positives to the best of my subjectivity and human knowledge. I love the weapons. They're definitely cool, but they're cool not from a power perspective, they're cool from a flavor perspective. Because when it comes to the actual strength of the weapon right now in Warframe, pa, they're really weak. Okay? It's as simple as that. There are plenty of other secondary weapons which are more powerful. Hopefully, again, the developer will do something about secondary weapons right now in Warframe. They are kind of the weakest and will see an increase in their power. But until then, my friends, as always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you got any sorts of feedback for me, by all means, drop it in the comment section down below. Also in the comment section down below if you want to suggest any particular type of content. For example, hey, I would like to see this weapon review or that weapon review and so on and so forth. If you love the content, consider supporting us via Patreon. It helps keep the content coming. Link in the cards right now. But until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.